Of course, after this two injury, they need to be cautious and they don't need to force the situation. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Fabrizio Romano here, as always, to keep you posted on the transfer market. And today, guys, we touch on Real Madrid case with Arda Guller, what's going on, and also Chelsea and Noni Madueke with Pochettino, but also touching on the situation of Pedro Neto. Let's jump into it together. <music> Guys, many things are always happening, we're here to keep you posted and today guys I wanted to update you on a situation of a super talent like Arda Guller at Real Madrid, receiving many questions, we know he's been a bit unlucky in this beginning of the season in terms of injuries, he got injured right after joining Real Madrid and then when he was almost ready to return into the squad a couple of weeks ago, one more injury and so he had to stop his recovery and now what's going on for the Turkish talent who joined Real Madrid in the summer from Fenerbahce. From what I'm hearing, sources, both sources, Real Madrid and close to the player, are convinced that in the next two weeks Arda Guller could be fit and then we have to see when he will be ready to play because obviously Real Madrid coaching staff don't want to take any risk so they will take their time before being 100% sure uh, to see Arda Guller on the pitch but the people close to the player believe that in two weeks everything will be fine and Arda Guller after the international break will be ready to play. People at Real Madrid uh, are really believing that Arda will have a great impact because in training he was showing really important things when he had a chance to train with the squad to train with the group he was showing very good skills so they really want and hope to see Arda very soon training on a regular basis with the squad playing with the first team and being ready to make an impact they believe in their talent in uh, his talent 100% but of course, after this two injury, they need to be cautious and they don't need to force the situation. This is the feeling, but Real Madrid have absolutely not changed their mind on the fantastic talent of Arda Guller. And at Chelsea, what happened with Donny Madueke? Uh, let me say that Mauricio Pochettino was very clear in public. He mentioned that episode, so when Madueke was injured uh, and there was that video circulating on social media of Madueke partying with some friends. So Pochettino was not happy at all with that, as he mentioned in public, but also in private at Cobham in uh, Direct conversations with Noni Madueke, Pochettino was very clear. He doesn't want to see these kind of things. He wants Chelsea to be a super serious club with a super serious mentality. And when a player is injured, and especially when things are not working in the best moment for a player or maybe for the team in general, he wants all the player to be more than serious. And so this was the message to Madueke. The player understood. Madueke is a very smart guy. And so Pochettino was very happy also with the reaction of Madueke. This is why he's back into the squad. It was not a super serious case, but something that Pochettino wanted to use also to send a message to all the players, not just to Madueke. He wants to see serious player, 100% focused on Chelsea. So that was the message. And Madueke, who is a very nice, smart guy, understood. And so everything is fine between Pochettino and Madueke, but also with the rest of the coaching staff as of today. And then, guys, many of you asking me about Pedro Neto and Arsenal because the rumors are now everywhere about Pedro Neto. If you are following the channel, guys, last week, almost 10 days ago, I released a video telling you that things are going to happen in 2024 for Pedro Neto because Wolves were able to say no to proposals in the summer, but between January and summer transfer window, let's see what happens in January because at the moment there is no guarantee at all that Wolves will approve a move for Pedro Neto in January. So we will see what happens and we also have to respect Wolves in this story. But in any case, in 2024, let's see if it's going to be January or more likely to be in the summer, for sure clubs will arrive. Arsenal wanted Pedro Neto more than one year and a half ago. They've always been interested in the player and they keep tracking the player so they are keeping an eye on Pedro Neto but there are also other clubs following the situation so for Pedro Neto the situation is very clear there is interest things could happen clubs know that he's very good and probably underrated and so keep an eye on Pedro Neto because at the moment nothing is concrete yet but Arsenal interest is there and also other clubs are following this fantastic Portuguese winger and so guys let me know your thoughts on all these stories from Arda Guller to the situation of Madueke to Pedro Neto I wait for your comments here as always remember to like this video turn on the notification bell subscribe to the channel see you soon with Fabrizio ciao